What's going on, family? Welcome to day two of 31 days in January, where I will be beating you in the head, or at least trying to, with new food reviews from chains, fast food establishments, mom and pops, all that good stuff. It's crazy because I passed this breakfast location. I guess it's like breakfast and lunch they're known for out here in West Hartford, Connecticut. I probably passed it a million times going to my spot, Bird Cold. Y'all know when it comes to chicken, I rock with Bird Cold heavy. Gotta get the text message. Um, but I'm over here at AC Peterson or whatever, whatever. I've always seen it. It's always been a real big diner over here on this corner and all that good stuff. Y'all check it out. But uh, let's see what that food game is about. Y'all know 2023, we about to get a little crazy, little physical with it. Let's go. This is it. This is all I have for the menu piece right here. You know what I'm saying? Quick, straight to the point. Don't even play with your emotions. And breakfast food that hopefully come out fire, baby, right at the end of the day. All right, fam, so we're starting with the Hungry Viking is what you guys are looking at. The Hungry Viking is already $10.99. We're talking about the hash browns I decided to go with. You have white toast, you can get wheat, however you want to get down. Me, I went with the white toast. And when I see smuckers on the table for the grape jelly, you know I get excited. I don't like seeing that boo with the food jelly. I don't like that low brand. I need that high brand, all right? That toast was already buttered up with love. I could have had extra butter if I wanted to. I didn't want to, didn't need to. Let me tell you something. I didn't even beat y'all in the head with the home fries, though. Do they need the ketchup or can we go without? A nice soft crust on the bite. I threw some salt and pepper on them already, but they were already flavored with the grilled onions. Because when you have that all up on the grill working together with the potatoes, the onion flavor starts seeping into the potato, right? The fried egg, you can't destroy eggs. I mean, I've seen people do it, but it's virtually impossible if you're paying attention to the egg on the grill. Some of y'all like your eggs running the marathon, not me. I like my fried diet and boop, laid to the side. Throw a little bit of salt and pepper on those things right there and get a nice bite. I don't like that, that yolky feel in my mouth. I don't know what it is. It's just not my particular cup of tea. So I'm not gonna be sitting there dipping the tea bag up off in that thing. <laughs> mm. And we didn't even have to talk about the bacon. Bacon extra crisp. I took a bite of that bacon, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it was boom, pow, everything. Within the mouth, great mouth feel, nice little saltiness to it. It wasn't an applewood smoked bacon because I didn't get that kind of hint of flavor, but still was a decent brand of bacon that they're using over here at AC Peterson, man. The waffle got that nice vanilla flavor into it. When you have that batter that matters, sometimes you can get a bland waffle. No matter what you do to it, it's still horrible. The waffle wasn't overcooked. Nice and soft on the interior. Light crisp on the exterior of the waffle. Mm. And they don't work, that's what we're doing. We're picking things up. They don't play around. When you see this type of syrup at your diner, and you have to see this type of syrup. You don't want to see the one with the squeeze bottle. That, that's horrible. It has to look just like this, because that's when you know you're getting that official syrup. You know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily Vermont style. All right, it's not no molasses. It's just some good syrup. I mean, the best syrup in the world is still Angel Mama but that diner syrup has a nice little flow to it, spitting bars all day. Come on, baby. What up, yo? What's going on? Chill. No, there were some foods. This is good. It's my yeah. first time eating here, too. I mean, I always pass it because I'm always going to Burko. What we came here for? Mm, we came here. I'm doing a recap every time. No, yeah, yeah, I know. I know I came here. Mm -hmm. Sorry to interrupt. Here you go, man. No problem. I know you just got here. Can I grab some energy? Um, yeah, I'll do. That's OJ. OJ? Yes. man Dame Drops rocking out with y'all the long way. Would you eat here? Hit me in the comment section below. Let me know for $100. Would you eat here for $200? Would you eat here? Or would you just eat here for free because you know the food is good? I'll let you boy. 